Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is again, Dr. Salim with you guys. Uh, and let me try to explain lateral resolution. What is a lateral resolution? How we can have a good lateral resolution in a picture and uh, how we can fix it uh, and where we can have a good picture image quality. We all know about the resolution that resolution is the image quality. When you have a better accurate image quality, detail image quality, the image which can explain a lot, uh, more information in the picture. So those are the uh, resolutions. Those are the best image quality actually. So let's talk about this. Let me share my screen with you guys. And let me see if I could explain it for you guys. So whiteboard, let me explain a little bit about the lateral. We all know, we already talked about the exit resolution that was a lateral uh, exit resolution, sorry. So for the exit resolution, we all know that in the exit resolution, like I mentioned, it was determined by the SPL, special puzzling. The shorter the pulse, the better the exit resolution. So where we can find the better uh, exit resolution? where we have the high frequency transducer. So in a high frequency transducer, if you are using a high frequency transducer, so it means you have the best image quality for the exit resolution. Okay, now if I want to have a better image quality, like the entire picture, the best, then I have to do two things. Number one, to choose lateral axial resolution the best. So I have to choose or select the high frequency probes. Now, how about the lateral resolution? We all know, for example, let me, let me draw a probe. So for example, if we have a probe, a transducer, so we all know these transducer, they will give us sound beam. The sound beam will inversion in this point and will diversion after that. So this inversion point and then diversion. So if we look at this picture, where the beam diameter is the narrow, the image quality for the lateral resolution will be the best in that point. So it means that the lateral resolution, the lateral, the lateral resolution is determined by the beam diameter. So please don't forget this word. The beam diameter, this is the beam diameter. This area is the beam diameter area. So where the beam diameter area is the smaller, the, the shorter, your lateral resolution will be the best for that image on that point. Now, if we compare like this black color, you can see this dark or black color here, this. And now if I give you some different colors, for example, the greenish. So the green color I can see, if you look at the green color in this area, this is also the beam diameter, correct? So this beam diameter here is wider. And now if I give you another like a blue color, for example, so comparely, if I look in this area, this is comparely like compared to the green, this area of the beam is not that much wider like the greenish area is. But which one is the smallest, the shortest, the narrowest beam area? So we can say the beam diameter is the narrowest where you can see the black color. So it means where is that black color area? Now, most of you maybe know that this is the area where your focus is. So this is the area of the focus or focal point. So we all know that in the axial resolution that was determined by SPL, special pulse length. And that was not adjustable by the operator, by me, you, or other doctors or healthcare providers unless we change the probe. But here in the lateral resolution, because lateral resolution is determined by the beam diameter. So if you want to make your beam diameter narrow, bring the focus on that area where you want it to be. So now if this is a focal point, now your beam diameter is the narrow in this point. So we can say, if you want to have the best image quality for lateral resolution, in axial resolution, because that will be the best detailed picture, more diagnostic, more informational. So what do you have to do? Two things. Number one, you have to use a high frequency transducer, a high frequency transducer. This is because of axial resolution. 
because of axial I'm sorry, this pin is not working. Uh, axial resolution. And secondly, because I want to have the entire picture the best quality. And now I have to make the focal point or the focus. Focus or focal point at the area of interest. So where your interest area is, put your focus on that point. Now, for example, if I want to scan, for example, I will say um, like a mitral valve. So if you are using, because mitral valve, if we use the low frequency transducer for that. It's not that much easy to use high frequency for them. Now, let's give me, uh, let me give you another example. For example, you wanna scan thyroid tissue, for, pretend it. You wanna scan thyroid tissue. So for the thyroid tissue, for example, you want to scan uh, the isthmus. For example, you want to scan this area of the thyroid tissue, which is the isthmus, actually. The isthmus area. Now, if this is my screen, if that's the display, what I will do, number one, I have to use a high-frequency transducer. For example, I would use a 12 megahertz transducer. That's one thing. Secondly, I will put my focus exactly where the isthmus is. So I will bring my focus to this point because that will be straight at the point of interest where I'm scanning. So this, because the beam diameter on this area where the isthmus is will be the narrowest, will be really smaller, shorter. So once again, just keep in mind, if you want to have a better lateral resolution, then it is determined by the beam diameter. We know the pulses are coming from the transducer down and this beam will be narrow in one point because all these modern transducers, probes, they, they manufactured, they made that way, that they have to be focused in one point somewhere. Now, the focal point, it's also called transmit zone. So you are able to change that. You can take it up and down. So my advice as an ultrasound specialist is, please pay attention to the focal point or to the focus. Put the focus where exactly your area of interest is. So like, for example, if you have this area, this is your focus, So, or this is the focus, put the focus where you want to scan. For example, I wanna focus, I wanna pay attention. My concern is the isthmus in this thyroid tissue. I will put my focus at the thyroid isthmus uh, level. Or you can put it a little bit down. We can say at or just below, not too below. So at or just below. Just below is, for example, this area. That's fine also, it works. But at is the best location to put. But if you wanna put it somewhere, for example, I will give you this greenish color. If you put your focus in this area, like here, that is the worst. That is not accepting. That is not a good image quality. That will not give you a detailed image. That will be not informational image. You may miss a lot important information in the isthmus area, which was your interest area of the study. So the focus has to be at where you have to look for the concerns. Not like pay attention because now, uh, uh, I think uh, I have seen some uh, healthcare providers they really don't care about the focal point or focus, but focus give us a lot of good information. So once again, put your focus at or just below, not very below, not really away or up. So put it at the level of your area of study. So hopefully this will help you guys. If you have a question or a concern, or if this was not really easy to understand, no problem. Leave me a message, comment, and I will try my best to uh, explain it maybe easier than this way. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Let me unshare my screen.